I'm Tyler Bennett, so I'm just doing another video really to um, bring you up to date, as it were, for for what we've been doing through the campaign over the last few weeks of uh, this month. Well, what I've been doing, certainly in, in the campaigning that I've been doing, is talking to people um, and not telling them what policies are going to be imposed, but actually asking them what they're interested in, what's important to them. The focus of those conversations with people on the street and people um, at their own homes has been very much driven by what's important to them um, because I feel that at the end of the day as a representative of people here in South East Cornwall um, that those policies that are important to them or those issues that are important to them are the ones that we need to be thinking about. The biggest issue and it comes over over and over again um, and not unexpectedly to be honest, is the NHS. Um, people are very afraid about the cuts to the NHS and the fact that the NHS is currently severely underfunded, not just in Cornwall but nationally. The other issue that we've come across over and over again is around housing. People are very concerned about what is truly affordable housing here in Cornwall. Um, they feel that affordable housing is not necessarily really affordable and for those people that can only at the moment rent uh, there are very few opportunities for them to rent housing which is affordable for them and within their budget. When Jeremy Corbyn came to Cornwall last year he came to an event in Newquay um, and he was asked and I asked him the same questions really a lot of people asked is you know what would Labour do regarding employment nationally um, and his approach really was to, to talk about the idea of bringing high-tech green economy jobs to the county, things like solar solar farms or solar farm technology and also wind turbine technology. And one of his, one of his questions or one of his comments really was the fact that we buy those things from elsewhere. So uh, wind turbines are built somewhere else in the world and solar panels are built elsewhere in the world. And the other thing is, you know, every roof really should have solar panels on it if, if they're suitable to take them. We've met a lot of people on the doorsteps and we've met a lot of people who are concerned about the way that Cornwall is a long way from Truro. And, and they feel that often South East Cornwall, Liscard being part of that, is marginalised. And I believe that to be very true. So one of the things that I would be doing uh, if I was elected would be to offer very robust and energetic um, effort to make sure that we are heard in Truro rather than being sidelined. I look forward to the elections on the 4th. I look forward to having an opportunity to re represent uh, my community. I've lived here a very long time, my whole life, 50 odd years. Um, and I would really like to say to people, if you want change for the better, then I would really like the opportunity to provide that change and be part of the change and part of the improvement that this county and this community absolutely deserves. And I look forward to seeing you after the election and working with you.